Okay guys, Mario Pesha from Devrix here. Today's topic is why is there so much hatred when it comes to PHP in the software development community? You know, there are a bunch of different programming languages out there. There's, you know, Java, C Sharp, Python, Ruby, JavaScript, you know, Visual Basic and tons of other different languages out there. And, you know, when it comes to people actually studying new languages, uh, what they normally do, they look for available jobs or they ask people around them like, hey, should I learn this, should I learn that? Or I found those, uh, you know, this framework or the CMS or this something that uh, is supposedly written in PHP. So is it, a, you know, a good career part to, to kind of dabble into the world of PHP? And for the most part, uh, well, at least a lot of different developers that are not really specializing in PHP, they'd say, you know, abandon that as a shitty programming language. You don't really want to study it and so on and so on because, you know, it's it's not a professional language. It's a, you know, kid's game. It's only for website building and, and so forth. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I've, uh, you know, I, I share the same opinion when I was, uh, you know, entry level junior developer. I was also raised in an, you know, in a community of hardcore software developers who are building, uh, normally using C++ or Java for building enterprise applications. And most of them were really opposed to using PHP for anything beyond, you know, a simple homepage. And fast forward a few years, I built a company uh, building PHP applications, first with uh, Codeigniter and Kuhana and some other frameworks, and then switching entirely to WordPress and now being a team of uh, 30 plus people building high scale applications for, uh, you know, various small and medium enterprises. So uh, since I also taught several trainings, some for WordPress and some for PHP, and also led a lot of different uh, kind of lectures at conferences, there's a very interesting kind of backstory when it comes to programming languages and, and platforms. Uh, to, since we specialize in WordPress, I'm going to kind of start with this first. With WordPress, when you go to a PHP conference, there's usually that laughter that, you know, WordPress is kind of the spoiled kit that's, you know, used to everything being done in a matter of hours and not really paying that much attention and so on and so on. When you go to a kind of web development conference, PHP is getting laughed at because it's not Ruby, it's not Python, it's not Java. Um, and, and, and so forth. It's actually a bit more complicated because like Java developers laugh at .NET developers because they use too much drag and drop in Visual Studio. And, you know, on the other hand, .NET developers are usually more enterprise and they laugh at, you know, other scripting languages like Ruby and uh, Python because they're too simplified, not enough enterprise. It's, it's a very, com uh, you know, complex topic. And that's why, you know, I don't advise anyone to pay too much attention to other people's advice because it's often coming from a different kind of perspective. The truth is when, when we are talking about data, uh, according to W3Techs, 83.4% of all websites out there are built with PHP. And you can validate that if you have a lot of free time and some available resources by crawling the, the, the top, say 10 million websites out there by going to Alexa or some other like similar web or built with and so on and just uh, run a few queries and see whether this website is running PHP or not. At the same time, WordPress is running over 30% of all websites out there. So WordPress is PHP based, of course, and it's only a fraction of the market share of PHP, even though WordPress alone is taking over 30% of the web, right? So it's obviously widely used. Sure, a, a lot of the WordPress projects out there are simple blogs and five page business websites. Nobody's arguing with that. On the other hand, you do have Facebook, which is built entirely in PHP. You, you, well, not entirely, but obviously the main framework, like probably 80% of their code is PHP. You have Wikipedia, which is in PHP. You have Yahoo, which has a lot of stuff in PHP. And a lot of other professional projects generating and serving tons of traffic with PHP. So it's obviously not that bad. So when does, where does that come from? You know, why do people blame PHP so much? Well, first off, back when Rasmus kind of created PHP in the first versions of the PHP documentation, you can find uh, several references stating that uh, kind of PHP was not really, well, it was kind of built for non-developers who can easily tinker with websites and, and kind of do basic changes. And you can kind of think of, you know, uh, VB script or something else for operating and processing with Excel tables or like just running some basic operations. That was kind of the initial purpose, but it's, it's worth noting that PHP was designed in 1994, which was about 24 years back uh, in the day. 
1994, Java didn't exist, C Sharp didn't exist, Ruby didn't exist, a lot of other languages didn't exist. And, you know, most people do say, hey, you know, it, there's too much, you know, shitty story when it comes to PHP and so forth. But case in point is PHP is evolving with time. PHP is getting better with time. And of course, there's some history that's making it appear as an unprofessional language because other people weren't even around back then when PHP was. So that's something that's definitely worth considering when it comes to the programming language. Uh, PHP wasn't object oriented by default. It was uh, a weak, ty weak type language, which means that uh, variables don't really set a specific type, whether they're say integer or string or double or float or something else, uh, which is something that you can kind of enforce right now if you want in the future, you know, over the past few years. But it started as such and it posed some bad programming practices out there. Uh, over time with PHP 5, it became you know, kind of fully object oriented with 5.3, it introduced namespaces and late static binding and some other things, making it a bit more robust and a bit more professional. PHP 7 was a major improvement, both in terms of performance, language syntax, you know, construct defining and so on. So it's much better than it used to be, you know, a decade ago, or let's say 15 years ago. But when you think about the popularity of PHP as a programming language, consider you know the past 15 or 20 years if you have been around or at least if you know you know what happened 15 to 20 years ago uh, you know what i remember back in the day when i was a young kid playing with tech uh, we wanted to set forums because forums were the thing you know after you know uh, bulletin boards and some other things so in order to kind of set up a forum uh, what you'd normally do is go and install phpbb uh, vbulletin envision power board or something else to, to set up the forum you want a gallery? No problem. Gallery 2. Uh, you know, you want a CMS? There were, you know, uh, .NET Nuke or PHP.NET Nuke or something like that. Uh, E107, a bunch of other platforms. Mambo, which was kind of the, uh, the predecessor of Joomla and so on. Drupal showed up, WordPress showed up at some point after being PHP, uh, BB, Catalog and so on. So, Almost all problems, uh, sorry, almost all pro platforms out there that were solving business problems were based on PHP because PHP was easy to learn. It was easy to tinker with because those platforms were open source. Uh, it played extremely well with my SQL, which was the most popular open source, well, f free uh, database platform out there. So, you know, there is a good symbiosis. Hosting was extremely easy. Virtually every host out there supports PHP applications and there, there's a good reason for that. And, you know, when you think of it, a lot, lots of available platforms, easy to customize, easy to set up because trust me, try to, you know, set up a hello world in Java with JSF or even with, you know, ASP.NET. Like it's extremely complicated when compared to just uploading a few files and running the PHP script. So in a nutshell, all of those things led to the adoption of PHP. The reason people hate it, first off, again, in terms of language syntax, there are inconsistencies and that's true, you know. Function naming, library naming, class naming, setting up everything under the same namespace. That it, it doesn't really work in the same way it works with .NET or Java or even with uh, Ruby and Python. It just doesn't. It's a bit more chaotic. Like conventions aren't really adhered to everywhere. Uh, and, and more importantly, most tutorials, and that's where the bad fame of PHP is coming from, most tutorials out there don't necessarily care about security or performance. Like they say, this is the easiest way to solve a problem. But they don't say, well, you know, that's easily exploitable if you just put this in the URL and essentially break the database by, you know, dropping an SQL injection there. Or this is easy to do if you have 10 records, but try doing it when you have 10 million records because it's going to break at all. So that's kind of the, the biggest problem. But in terms of performance, in terms of stability and so on, PHP has been proven to work. Uh, and obviously all the platforms that are running it and the fact that it has 83% of the website market share out there is proving that uh, it's a bit tricky to start. You know, you don't have one single correct path, even though frameworks like Laravel and Symfony and Z are trying to, to kind of put the, the conventions there. Also tools like uh, Composer for package management, object relational mapping and active record uh, libraries and frameworks. Everything is getting better with time. but you really need to start doing it and you need to keep learning and keep reading and keep experimenting until you also learn all the concepts of stability, performance and security. Aside from that, it's a great language. It's very dangerous. You can shoot yourself in the leg. But if you know what you're doing, it's a fairly decent one. So give it a shot.